Historical battle number four, the Battle of Red Cliffs, winter to wait. Sun Quan against who we've been playing as most of the time up until now, Sao Sao. So this is the first battle that the game considers to be on hard, so it goes easy, normal, normal, hard. The warlord Sao Sao, having united northern China, looks now upon the Southlands. Upon seizing Jing province, he begins amassing an armada with which he plans to invade the riverlands held by Sun Quan. The Sun Court, bitterly divided on the issue of such a war, is silenced when Sun Quan, persuaded by the eminent strategist Zhu Ge Liang, decides that the Chancellor's relentless ambition must be opposed. Cao Cao's force is untested on the waves, so the newly forged alliance plots to send a spy to convince him to chain his ships together at port, ostensibly to keep them stable, but in reality making them vulnerable to spread and fire. With the plot hatched, the alliance sets sail, with the fate of China itself hanging in the balance. So this is some saving Private Ryan shit right here. We have to storm a beach that we're just dumped on and force our way through multiple layers of defences. It's a bit of a clusterfuck. It's not the kind of battle that goes well with how I like to play, which is to minimise casualties, be efficient. But I think we can do a pretty good job of it. Dagungauchung,风向对我方有利, Jungruzugalangsu 带火船撞上敌舰周瑜陈兵江岸，直取曹军大营，而我将负责与异地率军攻取曹军的侧翼。散开。First of all, yep, can hardly see a fucking thing, but that's alright because we have unit cards. So we have three different groups of units, and they're all going to get involved eventually. But for now, we're just going to attack up the right. They've got a mixture of infantry cav archers, archers are pretty light. They have melee infantry that we have to keep away from our spears. They have cavalry that we have to keep away from our cavalry, mostly. So the first thing we have to do is to try and get our spears up and bait their cavalry into our spears. It's difficult to do this without taking lots of losses, but to try it. They're going to shift everything along to the right as we get more involved in a fight here. So once they start to take losses and deplete, they'll send over reinforcements and then we can kind of try and flank them, catch them between the front and the side. First though, we have to just start baiting shit out here. We have a lot of archers in the middle on the left. We've only got shitty repeating crossbowmen here that are pretty much useless, like they're almost useless. But the archers that we have in the middle and the left, we can definitely use those. We want to use those to take out cavalry and all these fortifications that they have. They have lots of towers. So we have to take the beach and then start working our way th up these little slopes. The gaps in the walls with the towers. Alright, cavalry, we're going to move them forward. We have to just start taking charges. We have to make stuff happen. It's not going to happen by itself. They're going to just sit shooting at us forever. Don't want to get charged off these axemen, but it's better than letting our cavalry get depleted. Ideally, we would get clean charges off without letting them get any charges of their own. So if we can pull units out 
and then take them out piece by piece. That's what we want here. Bring the cavalry forward now. So they just got charge reflected there, and we're gonna run away now here. No, actually, they push it out. So we took out a unit of cavalry for free, just about. Although, we might have to run away after this. Yeah, we're running away. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't want to let them have clean charges. Even if we have to pull behind our spears, just drag through them. It's better than getting into a shitty fight. And we have shit in the middle coming, so we have to react now. Don't want to let them get these charges. Oh yeah. So if we just keep this up, we should minimize casualties to have a good fight. We have to re respond properly to whatever they bring along as well. And these archers here want to focus on this guy. This guy is tanky as fuck. And we can finish off these cavalry units here if this goes well. We don't have any spears here so we have to watch out. And yeah, we're just going to send all the cavalry in the middle over to here if we can. Shit, we have to pull that unit off of him. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And yeah, so they're all engaged or they're isolated. We can make something happen here. The archers are mostly negated, they haven't been able to do much. They're chasing. Yeah, this is pretty much what we want here. They're gonna start bringing shit along from the left soon. Oh, that sword unit is resilient. You have to just charge cycle all this crap. Gotta be careful with our ammo. We can't get our axes involved properly. It wouldn't work. And we want to have mobility so we can't really wedge properly. That unit of cavalry there. Fucking route. Yeah, they should go in a second. And they're gonna be sending shit along from the left. Alright, we have to just. We have to start committing stuff here. Unit of archers there. These sword units. Get them over there. Those saber cavalry can be really effective. Fucking Ellie Shargon. And this is a fucking total war wet dream now. Yeah, this is pretty much what we want here. These fights are all gonna go well for us. A champion. Oh man, he's tanky. Archer unit is just getting thrown into the melee there. Fuck's sake. We've pretty much taken out that cavalry unit. Holy shit. And all this crap here. Uh, hold fire. Because we need to save that for the cavalry units that are up on the battlements. I think this is about as clean as it gets in terms of this clusterfuck of a fight. We avoided the meat grinder pretty well. Get our axes into that spear unit. We've routed everything pretty much down here. Next thing to do... Is this guy unbreakable? How the fuck is he still in this fight with two men? He's not even unbreakable, he's just staying in the fight, down to the last man. So this unit of Saber Militia is routed. G there is going to break any second. The unit of Archers is staying in the melee with no ammo. That unit used all of its ammo and got into a melee and only got 20 kills. And this unit of G got 8. And this guy is staying to the last man. Leo Bay can charge that fucker down. Sending a unit of spears up the right. And this one can go in the middle. Have we got him? Come on, fucking kill him. Holy shit. So now we form up and make a plan. That archer unit is fucking shooting. Take out these towers now. 
The fire should spread pretty quickly. It's one tower done. And we're taking fire from those towers now. That unit's pretty much shattered, so it's fine. He's still fucking fighting? Holy shit. And there he goes. Finally. Holy fuck. We didn't wedge there, and we still did really well. We've got more than half numbers on every cavalry unit. Yeah. Pretty much a full complement on the Sabre Cav as well. We need to take out the towers now and start charging into the melee infantry they've got, holding these gaps, especially up the right side. So... Gonna bring the archers forward now. Route this unit with one loss. I want to finish that unit. We've taken the towers out, so we can go right up here without having to worry about taking losses to the towers. Can do that. Gonna use these archers to fire at these heavy cavalry units. They're the problem. So we've got 280 losses to their 2400. So that's a KD of over fucking 10. Holy shit. Taking losses to that set of towers there. I thought we turtled. What the fuck? I thought we turtled, man. Apparently not. This unit's out of ammo. God damn it. Alright, get them out of the fight then. And this unit's nearly out too. We didn't need to shoot that tower. It was already going to burn down. And then that should be it. So... We've got fires set now that are going to take out all of the towers. Down here anyway. There's more. Up there. Next level. We've got 11 minutes left. We have a serious time constraint. If it didn't seem obvious from the urgency of how I'm playing this. So we've got 11 minutes left to get the win. Gonna have the Sabre Cavalry move along to this side. Because... The only way we can really break through here is to send heavy cavalry and wedge through melee units and then try and get opportunistic fights on the cavalry. They've got a unit of yellow dragons somewhere, I think. Oh my god. Just charged our fucking spear unit and spear wall. And they got like 10 kills on us. But it pulls them down here, so we get a cleaner charge on them, while their back's turned, at least. They shouldn't have uh, Tiger and Leopard Cav, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get rid of. And for those 10 kills, we get that unit of swords, so... That pulling out was pretty good. And we can form up again with the spears, because they're going to maybe try and send cavalry into this. You watch for them going into diamond formation. That's the giveaway. Yeah, there we go. So if we can turtle and leave the spears there and pull everything behind, we should be alright. Firing at that heavy cav unit. Gonna move the peril dragons forward. They're not gonna be that useful. They've got too much cavalry. If, the, if it was just spears on its own, it would be a lot better, but... If we send Pearl Dragons up there and they get embroiled on a melee, they're going to take so many losses when they get charged by cavalry. I didn't expect the swords to come down there. That was a surprise. We have to get cavalry over to the right side. And get axes over there as well. We've got nine minutes. And we're going to get Claro here because there's a spear unit mixed in with that heavy cav unit. And they're static. So this is a good target. Already half strength. Although it's this champion here that I really want to get. Are they coming again? Yeah, they are. Alright, well... Charge it with anything. I'm gonna guard mode and keep running. They're fucking taunting me here. We should be charging that anyway, so... Gonna move all the cavalry up to get ready. They have a unit of fucking heavy cavalry there now. Alright, we're gonna have to just charge the middle then. And this unit is the priority. Well, these two units. 
And there's Sandin. Yeah, there's the Yellow Dragons. They're the guys that are tough. I hope this uh, Tiger and Leopard Calf goes over to the middle, so then we can charge this unit here. Yeah, I'm doing it. Doing it regardless. They're pulling back up. No, wait, wait. Yeah, they might be. Pulling out and cycling that shit. Archers there with no ammo. Useless. And this unit of fuck- these units of crossbows. Might as well try and make use of them. Fuck it. And this wedge. Oh man, such a low mobility. Taking these charges now. I might just stay in wedge now for the rest of the fight. Got this unit of axemen down. Charging right through that yellow dragon unit. We should just send all the cavalry up now. And get the spears, plug in the left side. Get infantry up to it, I think. And yeah. This unit of fucking this champion here, he's gonna be if we don't catch him with a charge reflect, he's gonna do so much damage to us. Yeah, we need to get the spears up as quickly as possible here. Gonna have to just fire on this. No, wait, wait, no. Mm, is that a clean volley? That was alright. They're pulling back to the next level. So I need to get marchers up there. We really melted all the units here, holy fuck. So we can start going up for this set of towers here with turtle formation. They've got two units of archers there, but if we try and catch them... Where's the... yeah, these. If we send these through the towers, they'll have a shield block chance and they should do alright in the fight. And... what the fuck? I don't... alright. Yellow dragons there. They caught a mercenary cavalry. Can tank the arrows there if we stay turtled and they keep firing. Yeah, I thought that unit of yellow dragons was this unit of mercenary axemen. Motherfuckers. Balance of power is really going to shift once we take out that unit. Those two units. So all they'll have left is a few units of cavalry and some spearmen. And they might rout. We may not have to fight that champion. Which will make things way easier. But we're going to try and get our archers up to be in position in case we have to. And we're going to get a flank on that spear unit. And that might give us the win right there. Like that might be it. And why are they not chasing? Holy shit, come on, come on. Sending all this crap up. Yeah, they're coming in for the charge now. Got a pull out of there. And we've got that spear unit pinched. They're fucked. If we take this victory point, they'll lose morale. Those archers are so exposed there though. Shit. May have to just push up through this right side. We've got four minutes left, which should be more than enough. And we're gonna capture these towers here. Yeah, we're just gonna have to charge that guy. Shit. I knew it would come to this. Might get some decent charges though, so... And that unit routed, good. Spear unit there. They've got an archer unit, a spear unit. Two archer units. Or three maybe. No, two. And a heavy cab unit. Yeah, so we have spears and axes coming up the right side, so whatever we face that's left up here, we should do well. 47 men. Yeah, he's resilient. And we took that point, so we can start pushing on the victory point now. Three minutes left. It's kind of close. We're not going to get to 
use archers properly to take out these heavy cav units. We have to just face them in a straight fight, which sucks. Pulling through this unit now to hit these ones. Yeah, we have most of our cavalry, but it's a shit fight. Pearl Dragons are not going to have much of a role to play. And I think they're about to all route. So we take out a few more of them. Pull them back with these axes. Because they're just going to take losses needlessly. Charging that shit. And I'm going to pull through actually now. Just pull through everything. Ignore the cavalry there. And we can maybe cause the entire army to route. Through attrition. If those Pearl Dragons got to those spears, they would have had a nice fight, but it's not going to be required. And I think we've done it. So we've got 2,750 left. So we lost one-fifth of our number to take out 4,500 something. Yeah, not bad. Hectic as fuck fight. It's just about pushing through those defences and trying to match up your cavalry units to their non-spears, non-cavalry. They had so many melee infantry. We had 500 kills on this guy. 500 on this unit. See, these things, they actually did get some kills. The repeating crossbowmen. They were just for suppression. They just have a debuff effect that's weak. It's not even a good debuff. Archers didn't get many kills, but the kills that they did get were on heavy cavalry, so that helped a lot. That freed up our cavalry to start charging into their infantry, so yeah, the archers were good. These ones as well. And the Pearl Dragons took almost no losses, but all they really did was get a few kills on a spear unit that was flanked, so... And yeah, these... what was this? Jade Dragons here? 500 kills as well. So yeah, the cavalry did most of the work, which is to be expected. If we didn't manipulate their units properly to give our cavalry freedom we would have taken way more losses and it would have sucked but as it stands we lost five or six hundred to their four thousand five hundred something so kd like six or seven and that was running the gauntlet through towers too if you appreciate what i do and would like to support me while i continue you can do that on my patreon page thanks to all my patrons with special thanks to matteo olivetti